Hey guys, this is Brett Douglas with Ironclad Preservation and the Fast Network. Hey, I had a quick uh, video message for President Obama. You know, I might just be a Southern gentleman and, and uh, you know, not as intelligent as you are since, you know, obviously you were an attorney at one point, but for some reason, you know, can't practice law anymore. But I, I have a question for you. If one crazed person goes out or a few crazed per people go out and utilize an AR-15 assault type weapon, which is semi-automatic, by the way, um, and, and uses it in the commission of a crime. So then you utilize that as a basis to go after every American's right to bear the same type of arms. Then how come it's not the same logic that if a few radicalized Muslims are the problem, then why are we not going after all Muslims? You, you know, that's called, you know, that's called ignorance at the highest level. So you want to use that argument that just because a few people use these weapons, then everybody must not use these weapons. However, for a religion that's a religion of peace that you don't even want to acknowledge that it's radical Islam that are perpetrating these crimes, you feel it's okay to forgive them on a case-by-case -case basis and let's not have a backlash on the Muslim population in general. Okay, I, I, I totally agree with that. However, then the same argument needs to be made for our weapons and our Second Amendment rights. Just because a few nutcases go out there, whether they're radical Islamists, whether they're misguided, redneck, you know, uh, a white hate people or whatever they are, whatever you call that. I don't even know what it's called. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a race baiter and I'm not, you know, Reverend Jackson up there and Al Sharpton and, you know, igniting, you know, race wars. I, I don't know what you call that, uh, white pride or whatever it is, or white supremacy, just because a few misguided people, they don't speak for me. And, and you certainly, Mr. President, don't have the right to tell me that I can't have an assault weapon because a few crazy people use one. So if you're going to be fair, let's be fair across the boards. So when you seize our weapons rights, then I hope you're kicking every Muslim out of our country. However, I think the Muslims can stay. I'm cool with them. So you should leave my gun rights alone. Just a point to think about. You know, I know I'm just a Southern gentleman and don't have, you know, the extreme, you know, intelligence that you uh, portray. But if you're going to be fair, let's be fair. Thanks.